just remember, the stuff presented by this creepy bear is from the Evolution 101 website, written by the Understanding Evolution Team. Commentary by Rentafriend2000. That's me! The explanation. Biological evolution is not simply a matter of change over time. Lots of things change over time. Trees lose their leaves, mountain ranges rise and erode, but they aren't examples of biological evolution because they don't involve descent through genetic inheritance. What's funny about this is, I have a middle school science textbook called Evolution Change Over Time. It's good to see the team at Berkeley are doing a little better than the 8th grade public school kids. I had a blogger criticize me, saying I was demanding expert level specifics and their definition for the word evolution. But as I demonstrated in the previous post, it is possible to define evolution so the word actually means something. Go back there and check that action out. I'm like Webster's Captain of Awesome over here. Yeah, these guys are all, evolution is when stuff happens, but not when things happen. And then, when I point out that this isn't good enough for a definition written by three teams of PhDs, I get criticized. Go fig. The central idea of biological evolution is that all life on Earth shares a common ancestor. Just as you and your cousins share a common grandmother. Yeah, only our grandmother is a rock. No, really, Grandma Rock gave rise to Grandma Soup, and somehow all life came from that. Can you picture her in her rocking chair? Huh? Huh? Get it? These are the jokes, kids. You get what you pay for. Through the process of descent with modification, the common ancestor of life on Earth gave rise to the fantastic diversity that we see documented in the fossil record and around us today. Okay. I see we'll be skipping the identity of Grandma for now. Also, rather brazen to say documented in the fossil record. Even these guys will later admit that the fossils present more of a jigsaw puzzle with pieces missing than a documented record. When you study this stuff longer, you'll come to find that the evolutionary biologists know the evidence for evolution is in the fossil record, while the evolutionary geologists know it's in the biology department. And that, if nothing else, should speak volumes. Hey, but don't take my word for it. Let them speak for themselves. Paleoanthropologist has seemed to make up for a lack of fossils with an excess of fury, and this must now be the only science in which it is still possible to become famous just by having an opinion. As one cynic says, in human paleontology the study of fossils the consensus depends on who shouts loudest. Genetics has no proofs for evolution. It has trouble explaining it. The closer one looks at the evidence for evolution the less one finds of substance. In fact the theory keeps on postulating evidence, and failing to find it, moves on to other postulates. Fossil missing links, natural selection of improved forms, positive mutations, molecular phylogenetic sequences, etc. This is not science. Mm -hmm. Evolution means that we're all distant cousins, humans and oak trees, hummingbirds and whales. Oh, great. As if I didn't have enough Christmas cards to send out this year. On the other hand, in a roundabout way, I'm sure they don't realize. They've just justified eating your family and friends. Or have they just given me the ammunition to attack people who've chosen to live an alternate lifestyle? Hmm. Listen up, vegetarians. That carrot is my cousin, and so is that tofu. Although the family doesn't like to talk about him. When you sink your hard, pointy teeth into my cousins, I hope you can hear my heart break over the crunch of their dying veggie flesh. Ask yourself this. Do you use the salad dressing to hide the flavor, or to cover your murderous guilt? <laughs> yep, someone is gonna send me hate mail for that one. Well, see you next week. Whee!